So tell me, watch. About the cheating. Well, I felt kind of guilty, so I had to tell her, you know, but she got me and then found the other one. The other one? Seriously, what? You cheated on Stephanie. The hell's wrong with you? Okay. Making me feel worse. So, what? Was she any good? Who Stephanie? Yeah. No? I'm talking about the other one. She was pregnant. Really? Yeah. Was it yours? No. So you fucked a pregnant chick. Yes, I fucked a pregnant chick. And she was drunk. You are such a sad asshole, you know that? Seriously, you suck so hard. Good clue, you suck, you suck, you suck, you suck, you suck! Well, here's what happened. Top has 21st birthday. Three minus the Chris, right? This month we they were all counting down the minute. Happy birthday! You know, we're all drinking, you know, having a good time. Some chick gets picked up by some guy, some guy smacks her ass, but it doesn't sound like shh, shh, shh. And uh, her sister's like, Who the fuck do you think of? She's cussing me out. She's like, Whoa, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, she's like, What happened? She's like, Fucking watch on us. And she says she's married and the guy smacked her ass with her husband. I didn't know I was drunk, I didn't see the so I'm like, fuck this dude. I'm like, you know what? I didn't come here to cause drama or make the party kind of buzz kill, so I started to walk home. But the minute I walked outside, I started connecting about 30 miles outside of Casper. So I'm like, where the fuck? Fuck it, walk back to the house, stay outside, finish my cigarette, finish my beer. And then, you know, I was still kind of pissed off at myself because, you know, Shouldn't happen, I'm supposed to not grab a stone to the parties. This is my, my first officially huge party. This morning I wake up to find out that my girlfriend Stephanie cheated on me. Now I realize I have no room to bitch and complain about it because I have cheated on her in the past, but that was a one time thing and I haven't made an effort to do such things since. But here's what happens. The first time, I would really count the first time because she said this dude fingered her, supposedly a friend of mine. Turns out she didn't really get fingered by him, he just Worked her vagina through her pants, kind of with her pants on, kind of, you know. Alright, whatever. But then today she tells me that the same dude had anal sex with her. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, so I'm figuring, why, why the fuck is she going to get some other dude for this? And I said, Stephanie, look, if you want to have anal sex, look, why don't they fuck you in your ass? You know, what's, you know, what's up with that? And she goes, well, I would, but you're just, you're too big, dear. I, I, I you know, I'm like, Why'd you do that? She goes, Well, I enjoy it, and yada yada yada. Like, well, if you fucking enjoy it, then what's wrong with doing it with just me? You know, your boyfriend. Okay? And she goes, Well, babe, I've told you about this before. And basically, Stephanie wants to have um, more than one sexual partner. She wants to try that thing, I guess. You know, she's talked to me about um, having a threesome with another woman involved, and I said, I'm okay with that, you know, because let's face it, what, what dude wouldn't want to fuck two girls at the same time, right? But then she says she wants to also have another dick in that, and I'm like, eh, no. Okay, that's right, draw the line. She's like, well, it doesn't have to be anything serious, and I could be sucking him while you fucking vagina or whatever, and I'm like, no! Okay. You know, for me to break up with Stephanie over cheating on me would be extremely hypocritical, so I'm not going to break up with Stephanie, obviously. Um, every couple goes through this, I'm sure. You know, well, every couple goes through that moment where they're having to scream and some shit, so. The best thing I can do is talk it out with Stephanie and, you know, 
keep my temper under, under control because if his fucking thoughts come back and I'm just like, but she said he's not going to solve anything. Uh, let's trade you get with her. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Everybody else, I'm fucking easy to be to kick Stephanie's ass to. I'm twice your size, twice your muscle. You know, and I'm like, you know what, being stepping up because of this issue wouldn't solve anything. If anything, it would make the situation worse. And I'm not getting one of those scumbag boyfriends that hates the women because of some stupid shit. You know. Well, that's another story right there. See, she didn't even bother calling me. I called her after work to see if she wanted to go to the bar or something, you know. Nope. Was not answering her phone. She sent me a text. Just please leave me alone, okay? I'm like, excuse me? What, what, what did I do? You threatened to rape me. I'm like, I was only half kidding because you had sex with someone else. I was trying to be kinky with it like you wanted, you know. What the fuck? I guess I might have chosen my words better, but she somehow felt threatened by that, so because of that, she's on and off in the hands of someone else. And they got a text later saying, Stephanie's naked and having a, enjoying a party, leave her the fuck alone, okay? I'm like, what the fuck? Are you serious? Yeah, I was a little pissed when I heard that. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I don't care. I'm going to the bar and get drunk. Uh, it was a brief period in time, though, where Stephanie did get a urinary tract infection. She got real sick, and, uh, I'm like, what the fuck? At the time, I was still a boyfriend, and I felt kind of bad for her. I'm like, what can I do, you know? She was like, well, I need cranberry pills. I'm like, okay, I'll buy you some cranberry pills, you know? I want you to see you get better. You know, I did, and they went away, and then... As a matter of fucking fact, I got something. Look at that. Look at that. Certified entry network technician. She might have gotten all her shit, but she didn't get her little certification. <laughs> now, I could smashes but uh, I think I found something to shoot my shotgun with it's a little certificate for his yeah because if you're gonna take your anger on the person do it in a healthy way the one thing they work so fucking hard to get is not to be covered in shotgun shell a whole lot fun I can stick this on a hay bale somewhere and just be like, <laughs> What fun. Well, she ain't getting this back. I'm like, yeah, see how your hard work and job court paid off, Stephanie. See how hard it paid off.